Hello there, welcome to DAB. My name is Veena Prashant and today I'm thrilled to introduce to you a one-of-a-kind membership engagement builder. Now, this is a feature truly unique to DAB. I have no doubt it's going to help you with your membership site engagement. I can't wait to show what we have done, so let's get started. Now, say that your members log into your membership site and they are greeted by a member dashboard that looks like this. Number one, their name, their picture for a more personalized member experience. They can also upload a different image, change their profile image. Number two, all the badges that they have earned through different actions by completing different tasks in your membership site. Number three, all the certificates they have earned by completing different courses in your membership site. Number four, a list of all the courses they have already completed. Number five, all the courses they started but didn't complete yet. It acts like a map for your users. It will let them know how far they are in the process and what's still left. And you can also show them a list of all the courses they have enrolled in but didn't start yet. You can also show them courses that they have not yet signed up for, which means you can upsell your paid courses, the ones that they don't yet have. You can show them that with a button that says learn more, it sends them to the sales page of that course. Or even if it's a free course, a button that says learn more sends them to the opt-in page of that course so they can opt in. You can show them how many points they have earned through different actions. In your membership site, you can show them the total number of points they have collected so far. You can also show them recent points journey in your membership site. And it's not limited to courses. You can also upsell other products and services by uh, using you might be interested in section where you can display a list of all the products and services that the logged in member does not have other than your courses. And also other products and services where you can display a list of all the products and services other than courses that the logged in member has. And everything that you see on this page is fully customizable. Now you can decide what sections you want to display in your member dashboard. If you don't have courses, you can turn off some of these sections. Now say that you want to display in progress courses, but do not want to display completed courses. You can turn this off. Basically, this feature will allow you to create an instant dashboard where your members can see all of their accomplishments. Just imagine what it can do for your member engagement. This dashboard that you can easily create with a click of a few buttons will map out the logged in members entire course journey. Now people like to know where they are and where they are going. And this is exactly what you can do using the new member engagement builder. Now achievement is one of the most powerful psychological driving factor of human behavior. So if you can make your members feel like they have achieved something, they're going to keep coming back. Now something as simple as saying good job when someone completes a task helps create a milestone. It helps create a sense of accomplishment, helps create a sense of completing a level. Code Academy does this really well. We were inspired by it. We took the idea from there. We just took it to a whole new level in depth. It will take you less than five minutes to set it up. Just use all the default options. Go ahead and create the short code, publish it anywhere in your members area, and you will have an instant member engagement dashboard. Really easy to create. All right, so now I'm gonna give you a very quick tour of the backend. So go to the member engagement page under DAP, click on it. It will bring up a page like this. And here you can click on this button to add a new member engagement short code. And it will bring you here, give it a name. And then there are several options here. As you can see here, every section that you see, you can turn it on or off. By default, everything is turned on. And if you want to turn it off, if you want to uh, not display the section, just set this to no. And every section that you see here, it has an option that says, do you want to hide any courses from this list? So say that you have some test courses and you do not want to display that, uh, then you can just turn it off. You can say yes here, select the courses that you do not want to display, and it will not show up in the front end, even if user has completed that course. And display in progress courses, same thing. If you want to turn this off, you can turn it off. And if you want to display it, and but hide certain products, you can do that too. So this is fully customizable. So for every section, you can select what sections you want to display and the sections that you want to hide. For example, if you do not use Game of Points, you can turn off this section. If you do not use Game of Points to award badges, you can turn off this section. If you do not award certificates to your users when they complete your course, you can turn this off. And again, DAP comes with the certificate feature. So if you use the certificate feature and you let DAP generate a certificate when users complete the course, you can turn this on and logged in members will see all the certificates they have earned. And uh, you can also control how many certificates shows up in each row. If there are several certificates, it's going to wrap to the next line if it's more than this number. And recent activity, same thing. If you do not want to display recent points activity, you can turn this off. 
member profile. So towards the top, member profile information. If you do not want to display it, you can turn this off as well. All right, then select the template. There is only one template. Select this, click on customize. It will bring you to the customizer tab and everything that you see here is fully customizable. There is a template customizer here. If you want to change the width, increase it, decrease it, you can do that. And uh, background color, if you want to change it, you can do that. Now hide right sidebar. If you do not want to display the sidebar, you can turn it off like this. And also say that if you want completed courses to appear above uh, the in-progress courses, just drag it and drop it right above it like this. So you can drag and drop everything. Say that you want to display badges here. You can just drag it, drop it here. It's really simple. So if you want to increase the image height, you can do that right here like this, height and width. And uh, change the template. If you want to use a different template, for example, this template, you can change it to that or you can use the default template. Display options, number of products that are displayed in each row. By default, it's set to three. So three product boxes will be displayed. But if you want to change it to four to two, you can change that. Do you want to use the slider for your product layout? Now slider is very useful if you have a lot of products like you can see here, I'm using a slider here. And instead of a long page with all the products, I, I prefer this type of layout so they can just click on this to see the other products like this. And by default, the slider option is enabled. But if you want to turn it off and just want to display all the products one below the other, you can do that too. And also the profile section, the edit profile button that you see here, you can connect it to your member profile page right here, your profile URL. So be sure to enter your member profile URL. You can create a member profile page in DAP member pages. So create the page, enter the URL of that page here, the edit profile button will link to that page. So when users click on it, uh, they will be sent to that page where they can update their profile information, the button style, everything you can change, the colors you can change, and you can do this for all the buttons. For example, access button style is right here. You can change the colors, you can change the style, and everything is click and edit. So you can change the text. You can have it say whatever you want it to say. Same thing with all of this content. You can click and edit, change the text, change the style. It's fully customizable. And you can do this for all the sections. Now this section here that says might be interested, click and edit, change it to say whatever you want to say, for example, might be interested in. The learn more will link to whatever you have set in the DAP products page. In the DAP products page, advanced tab, whatever you have in the sales page URL, the learn more button is going to link to this for that product. And the access content button will link to whatever you have in this field, redirect field. So whatever you set here, the access content button will link to it. And whatever you have under sales page, the learn more button is going to link to it because if users don't have access to something, they click to learn more. They will be sent to the sales page or the opt-in page of that product to learn more about it. If users already have access to it, when they click on it, they will be sent to the product page for that product. That's the page where they can get started with the product. So if it's an online course, when they click on access content button, they will get sent to the table of content or to the first lesson of that course. So where they get sent, you can configure it in the back end in the DAP products page in the advanced tab. And uh, that's the setting that gets used for access content and learn more. All right. And also this color, the not enrolled, the style, you can customize the colors here and might be interested in. You can change the colors here. If you want to change it to a different color like this, you can change the color to whatever you want. So as I said, from text to style to the layout, everything is in your control. And the sections you want to display, the sections you want to hide, that's also in your control. So when you're done customizing, click on Save and Next. And it's going to bring you here. And you can see here, this is the short code. You can copy this, publish it wherever you want on a WordPress page. Now, if you see mine, I inserted it here. And I'm using my page builder. I'm using Thrive Architect, which is my page builder. You can use whatever page builder you want. You can even insert it in a regular WordPress editor and you will have an instant member engagement dashboard. And because this is short code based, the cool thing is you can create as many short codes as you want, each with a different option. So say that you wanna create a short code just to display all the course related stuff, you can create one short code for that and you can turn off all the other sections. If you want to create another one where you just want to display completed courses, then you can just select this one and you can turn on and off sections here in the general tab. So select the sections you want to display, and then you can customize it, create a short code, publish it wherever you want in the member homepage uh, to create a different dashboard. So you can create multiple 
short codes, each with a different option and each can be configured to do different things. So what I suggest is if you are doing this for the first time, just use all the default options. You don't have to configure anything. So just use all the default options, select the template and it will bring you to the customizer tab. You don't have to customize anything initially. Just use all the default options, save and next. It will bring you to the short code page. It will give you the short code, publish it on a WordPress page, see how it looks. And then there, if there are sections you want to change, remove, add, change the text, you can do all of that. You can go back to the member engagement page, edit the short code and make all the changes. All right. So I hope this was helpful and I'm so excited about what we have done here. I think it's going to really help you with your membership site engagement, getting your members more excited and increase their participation in your membership site. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the co-founder of DigitalAccessPass.com. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.